Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. Nos programs offer plusieurs langues. Veuillez visiter suprememastertv.com baroblique schedule. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Visiten suprememastertv.com barra inclinada schedule. I nostri programmi sono offerti in multilingue. Consultate suprememastertv.com barra schedule. A Land of Natural Wonders and Happy Citizens, Part 1 of 2. Continue watching to find out more. I started looking into the benefits of it as far as how it's better for the environment and then your health and obviously the animal as well. Sadie Sink, vegan, on her vegan diet. Wonderful viewers, meet and void? That's how are you in Finnish. I'm Taimi. The resourceful people of the Republic of Finland are grateful for your bright, merciful nature revealed in your benevolent actions and lifestyle. May heaven protect you as you safeguard others. Welcome to our show, Finland, a land of natural wonders and happy citizens, part one of two. Finland is blessed with a wealth of rare natural beauty, from its fascinating array of dispersed islands that make up Europe's largest archipelago, to the vast wilderness of Finnish Lapland, the country's landscape is a pristine paradise for nature lovers. The midnight sun in summer and the northern lights in winter are two of its renowned natural wonders. Located in northern Europe, Finland shares borders on the west with Sweden, in the north with Norway, to the east with Russia, and lies just across the sea from Estonia. Finland is also the most densely forested country in Europe, with 70% of its land covered by thick woodlands. The Finnish people place great importance on nature and their surroundings. People began settling in Finland just after the Ice Age, around 8500 BC. As the numbers grew and society developed, the period between 8300 to 5000 BC has become known as the time of the Suomus Järvi culture. Other eras followed, such as the Iron Age, the Middle Age and Viking Age, plus several more, impacting Finland's motherland and its inhabitants' welfare. Eventually, the people of Finland proclaimed their independence on December 6, 1917. The Parliament of Finland declared the country a sovereign nation-state. Finland is an Arctic nation, with one-third of its territory above the Arctic Circle. Finland, together with the other Arctic nations of Canada, Denmark, Iceland, Norway, Russia, Sweden and the United States, form the Arctic Council. Besides addressing issues faced by the Arctic nations' governments, the Arctic Council also oversees protecting the Arctic's indigenous people. <coughs> it's interesting to note that Finland's landmass is emerging from the sea 3 to 9 mm each year, while the global sea level is currently rising at an average rate of 3 mm yearly. This phenomenon is due to a geological process known as the post-glacial uplift, which started 10,000 years ago when the last ice age ended. 
the country gains 700 hectares of land annually as its western coastline slowly rises above sea level. When speaking, the Finnish people use their words sparingly, meaning what they say while taking words and promises seriously. It's said that if you ask a person in Finland how they are, be prepared to listen, as they will tell you exactly how they feel at that moment. A good time to chat with a Finn is while sharing a sauna, where people are more open and expressive. Sauna has been part of the Finnish culture for thousands of years. Traditional saunas are heated by wood or by a stove with no chimney. Once you leave the sauna, you may jump into a lake or roll in fluffy snow to cool off. Not so long ago, unheated saunas were used by mothers to give birth because they were in the most sterile and cleanest places in the house. Some Finnish people are still alive today who were delivered in this way. Until the 12th century, the sauna was respected as a sacred place in Finland. Every sauna was believed to have a guardian spirit, which is why it was considered a place of healing. Hence, the respect the people of Finland have for spending time in a sauna as a tradition of sharing quality time with others. Even though the country is known as Finland to the world, this is not a Finnish term. The Finns call themselves and their country Suomi or Sami. One assumption is that Finland comes from the Old English word Finna. Another belief held by some historians is that the name comes from the Swedish words Finlanti and Finlandi. Interestingly, the original Finnish alphabet did not even contain the letter F. Given all its qualities, it's no wonder the Finnish people are so happy. The World Happiness Report, which has been in existence for 10 years, has voted Finland as the happiest country in the world in 2022 for the fifth time in a row. The criteria for the report survey are gross domestic product or GDP per capita, social support, life expectancy, freedom to make life choices, generosity and corruption levels. Finland did well in all aspects while excelling in generosity. World vegan, world peace, so be it. Cheerful viewers, let's pause for a moment to hear a brief message. We'll return shortly. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television. Welcome back to our show. According to author and former executive from New York, USA, Naomi Moriyama, the secret to the happiness of the Finns lies in their values. They place great importance on people's well-being, quality of life, time in nature, good childcare, education for all, and women's contributions to society. Finland was the first country in Europe for women to gain the right to vote and run for office. From 2000 to 2012, Her Excellency Tarja Halonen served as the 11th president and her approval rating reached as high as 88% during office. Women can also become priests in the country. Girls are encouraged to think big and challenge the status quo from a young age. Teaching is one of the most respected professions in Finland. Teachers are highly trained and are qualified to teach upon completing their master's degree, which is the equivalent of a residency program in the USA. Once fully qualified, Finnish teachers have the autonomy to develop their own teaching resources and methods. According to Oli Mete, a teacher trainer at the Normal Lyceum of Helsinki School, the Finnish dream was for all children, regardless of family background or personal conditions, to have a good school in their community, a focus that has remained unchanged for the past four decades. The government gives importance to a sound educational system with no private schools. Students learn the country's values of honesty, fairness, being down to earth and trusting others. 
Finnish students have a healthy balance between school life and free time, and this way of living extends into their adult lives with a healthy work-life balance. Children are encouraged to learn through play and don't start school until seven years old. The country's high-quality early childhood education and care caused Finland to rank second in the world for highest performing graduates in 2021, according to the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development OECD. As a nation valuing learning and education, it's common for Finnish people of all ages to spend a lot of time in the library. There are 738 libraries in the country that provide one of the best services in the world. A great example is the Ode Helsinki Central Library, developed in 2018. The sleek, modern, energy-efficient facility is thoughtfully designed to create a convenient space and ambience suitable for different activities, from quiet reading to music recording, group meetings, holding conferences and watching movies. Finland also offers universal health care to its citizens, focusing on preventing disease by promoting awareness and health. The country's health care system is considered superb and is praised worldwide for its specialized preventative screening and medical care. Outdoor activities involving exploring nature are a favorite pastime for Finland's population. According to a study published by Natural Resources Institute Finland, Finns engage in outdoor activities on average three times a week and 182 times a year. Walking is the leading outdoor activity that most Finnish people embrace. Nature observation, painting, photography, and bird people watching are some activities that nearly half the population has recently adopted. It has been over a century since Finland gained its independence, and the people of Finland have paved their way steadily, balancing happiness and development. In 2009, the Legatum Institute, a think tank based in London that researches global wealth and well-being, produced the Legatum Prosperity Index. It stated that Finland is the world's most prosperous nation, not only in terms of monetary matters, but also in the quality of its democracy and governance. Vegan. Prepared for takeoff to heaven. Amiable viewers, Thank you for your company today during our program Finland, a land of natural wonders and happy citizens, part 1 of 2. Please return next Wednesday, August 24, for part 2. May all our animal friends know peace and love as we usher in a vegan world where all beings will live in divine harmony. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule and suprememastertv.com forward slash CTAW.